there's a sutta where King Basenity comes to the Buddha in the middle of the day. And the Buddha says, what have you been up to? Basenity says, well, the typical things that rulers who are mad for power do. It's amazing, he was so frank. And the Buddha asks him, suppose someone would come from the east, a trustworthy person came and said there was a huge mountain moving in from the east, crushing all living beings in its path. Another person came from the south with similar news. There's another mountain moving in from the south. A person comes from the west. Another person comes from the north. It turns out there are four mountains moving in from the four directions, crushing all living beings in the path. And Buddha says, considering that human birth is so rare, what would you do? Now, some people might say, well, I'll just want to make as much, have as much fun as I can with this one human birth. But of course, Buddha is thinking about your next birth as well. Basenity is thinking about that, too. He says, what else can I do but practice the Dharma, keep my mind calm? And the Buddha says, I tell you, that aging, illness, and death are moving in on all sides. What are you going to do? Basenity says, well, what else can I do but practice the Dharma? So we only have a little bit of time here, but the time can be well spent. And we all like to think that we can get to the end of the the path before death. But there'll be a lot of cases where we can't, but still the momentum that comes from doing the practice, that carries over. So all time spent practicing the Dharma, in other words, being virtuous, working on your concentration, working on your discernment. While you're sitting here with your eyes closed, while you're walking, while you're doing any activity throughout the day, all of that is time to practice the Dharma. And when it is, it's all time that's well spent. So keep that in mind as you go through the day. Even during your rest periods, trying to maintain at least some contact with the breath. It's like those instructions for learning how to be a swimmer on the days when you don't have much time or don't have much energy to practice. At the very least, maintain your form. And here your form is the mind center with the breath. That puts you in a position where you can see a lot of things, understand a lot of things, pull back from a lot of unskillful things. If anything comes up in the mind that you're not sure about, is this right, is this wrong, well, you can watch it. That's how we overcome our uncertainty. So this foundation right here has lots and lots of uses. And while you're working on it, okay, you're working on the practice, or in John Mahabhu's phrase. When you're mindful, okay, you're on the path. That's the practice. Now, mindful just doesn't mean being aware. It means remembering what's the right thing to do and what's not the right thing to do. And if you can't figure out what the right thing to do is, you watch. And if your gaze is steady enough and consistent enough, you'll begin to see. <laughs>